So I was looking at my channel and I realized I've never made a video explaining the ancient weapons, which is a massive topic in One Piece. It's a very crucial topic to One Piece. So let's discuss and explain the ancient weapons. First of all, I'm the one Straha. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing behind the scenes, follow me on Twitter. The handle is the one Straha. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. So let me explain to you what the ancient weapons are. The ancient weapons are three weapons capable of mass destruction, each taking a different form. The three weapons are Pluton, Poseidon, and Uranus. The world government does not let you learn about the ancient weapons. They are forbidden. The weapons have been lost throughout time and no one really knows what or where they are. However, in the series at this current point, we actually do know of one. That is Poseidon. Poseidon's power is it has the ability to communicate with the Sea Kings. Yes, it can literally control the Sea Kings. And we've seen how big the Sea Kings are. If you don't know what a Sea King is, here, I'll put up a picture of a Sea King right now. This is a Sea King. That's just having one of the weapons. Imagine if you had all three. Now, there's speculation to believe that the ancient weapons come from the ancient kingdom, that the ancient kingdom is the people that built the ancient weapons. And that's why the so-called world government as of today fears them. Now, this isn't facts. This is actually just theory and speculation, but it makes a lot of sense. Oh, by the way, Poseidon is a living being. Like, Poseidon is a weapon that gets passed down, basic. It's, it's kind of a power that's passed down to people, and that's the ancient weapon, okay? It's the mermaid princess. Kind of weird. So they don't even have to be physical objects. Poseidon is a giant mermaid. Now, we do know Pluton is a battleship, a massive battleship used for war. And we know that Tom had the plans for Pluton and he passed them down to Frankie. And Frankie ended up supposedly burning them during Eni's lobby. So I don't know if we could ever recreate something like Pluton again. Maybe Frankie somehow still remembers what was in the notes, but I don't know. And the original Pluton, we don't even know where it really is. We do know that there was a Ponyglyph in Alabasta that actually revealed the location of Pluton. And Robin supposedly read that Ponyglyph. I wonder if it's still in good condition. It might be because it's a massive battleship. Some people have theorized that it's the Noah. I don't think it's the Noah. I think the Noah serves a different purpose. And the only ancient weapon left to discuss is Uranus. Uranus, we don't have that much information on. Out of the three ancient weapons, we actually have the least amount of information on it. There is a spectacular theory by Mr. Morge. I recommend you go check it. It's about the three ancient weapons and the three hockey and how they correspond. And he supposedly thinks that Uranus is the straw hat that they saw in Maridra, that giant straw hat. I, I recommend you go watch that. Shout out Mr. Morge. His theories are incredible, especially that one. But yeah, out of the three weapons, as of right now, in the story, that's currently what we know. There isn't any other information given to us. All the other information is mostly speculations and theories. Um, if you want to do more research on the gods that they're named after, for example, Pluton, Poseidon, and Uranus, you can go ahead. Poseidon, obviously, he's like the god of the sea. So it makes sense that Poseidon controls the sea kings, right? So it obviously kind of has some correspondence to the names. So you could do some research about the gods and probably find something about the ancient weapons, who knows? Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, as I said in the beginning, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.